Hello, this is Ear Trash, and today I'm going to be starting a series on how to make a track in Ableton Live. I'm going to be going through all the different processes from building your drums to bass lines, synthesizers, effects, and eventually mastering and rendering your track. My last dubstep video it got 252 likes and 17,000 views. So I'm quite happy about that. So on that note, I would like to encourage you to rate this video if you find it helpful. The more ratings I get, the more views I'll get, and the more happy I will be. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to start off by going over drum racks and how to build really nice sounding drums. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click drum rack, and that's going to put a drum rack into our into our MIDI track. Here's our pads, and what we're going to do is we're going to find a sample to put into this. So I'm going to use Prime Loops, uh, their pack called Drum Addict, and here here we've got some loops. But I'm not actually going to use a loop, I'm going to take sounds from the loop and make my own loop. And I know that this downhouse break one sounds good because I've actually done this video about three times now and it keeps failing, so hopefully this time it's not going to fail. So I'll give you a listen to this, this sample here. And that's not, drum, that's not um, dubstep, but we're going to make it dubstep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag it into our audio track. And from here you could either right click and go slice to new MIDI track or you can just select the samples yourself and click and drag them into your drum rack. So I'm going to take the kick and I'm just going to cut that. I'm going to take the snare and I'm going to cut that. As you can see here all I did was select the area, move it to the right a bit and then move it back. So now I'm going to drop these samples into my drum rack. So click and drag into C1, click and drag into C sharp and click and drag, oh, make sure your drum rack selected, click and drag into D1. So now when I use my keyboard, the sample should be getting triggered individually. So now we've got uh, our sounds loaded up, we're going to make a pattern. I'm just going to delete this sample here, and select this area, insert MIDI clip, and here we've got a blank clip. So I'm going to drag my piano roll up so you can see it a bit better and drop in a kick it's a bit long that's what she said uh, and I'm going to put in a snare I'm going to put a kick in just before the snare and we're going to put in some hi-hats and we're just going to select that clip and press Control and D to duplicate that and increase our loop region consolidate And there we have a very, very basic dubstep beat. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some more sounds to this. Um, so I'm going to have go through these samples. Actually, I'm going to use some roll-in samples. So I'm going to go to my classic drum machine samples. And as far as I'm aware, these are open source. So um, if you click on the screen, this area here, I'll take you to my video where you can download it. So I'm going to... I'm not just going to go straight for a Roland, I'm going to see what the other ones sound like, so I'm going to go for Casio. No. I think Casio should stick to making watches. Okay, so I'm liking these Roland 808 sounds. Uh, I'm going to select the hat open and put that into, into there. I'm going to select the hat closed, put that there. Snare drum. Nah. That Kabasa sounds quite good. And the snare drum. Right, okay, I'm going to use that. And kick drum. Yep. Okay, so now we have some a few more sounds in. We can now uh, make this pattern a bit more interesting. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little button here in the middle one and that's going to show us all our samples. Now we can preview them by pressing the play button. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to group them. Um, I'm going to do this because it's going to be helpful for later on. So I've got the first one's a kick and I think I've got another kick here. I'm going to click that kick drum then press control and click that one. So that's these two kicks selected. Now I'm going to right click and press group. So now we've got an internal drum rack just for the kicks. So I'm going to right click that and rename that to kicks. And what have we got here? Hi-hats. So I'm going to select all the hi-hats again, pressing control. That kibasa is kind of a hi-hat sign, so I'm going to select that as well. And we're going to right click and group. Now we're going to rename that one hats. And now we've got our snare sounds. So I'm going to select both of them, control and group. Rename that to snares and claps because we're going to put some claps in that as well there. Now when we go into our pattern by double clicking it, we will see more uh, samples appeared in it. So I can now add in some more uh, hi-hats. And put in that closed one. I'm going to put in some more kibasa sounds. And you can see here I'm just kind of making a pattern as I go, but I'm kind of sticking to the pattern. As you can see here the kibasa is uh, coming in between those two hats. So select the area, control duplicate, and just put it in the wrong place, so slide it along. That sounds quite good, it's got a nice little um, rhythm to it. Now I'm going to add in some more kick drums. Um, I'm going to put this kick drum in there at the start to give it a kind of down lifter sound. I'm going to put it on top of this other kick as well. We're going to add in some more snare drums. Okay, so now we've got a, a good foundation for a drum, a dubstep drum rock. In the next video I'm going to be going over how to put effects on these sounds to really bring them out and make them sound a lot better. So be sure to click this annotation here to take you to the next video and please remember to rate this video. Thanks for the rating, see you on the next video.